So let's talk about a major problem with late model Cummins trucks. Right here, this little guy, part of the intake grid heater assembly. And what happens here is there's 200 amps of current running through this little bolt and this bus bar to heat up this intake assembly here. And over time, this bolt likes to dissipate, melt, rot off, whatever you want to call it. And then a large chunk can fall off, roll down your intake into one of the cylinders and completely damage your engine. If this little bolt falls off and rolls into your intake, down into one of the cylinders, you're gonna have a complete engine failure and a very large bill on your hands. So let's jump in and see what the components are of the BD kit. What we have here is a new and improved lower bus bar, which is quite thick. I'll just compare it to the original one. It can carry current load a lot more efficiently. This is the upper bus bar, which will replace this piece right here. And then we have some improved hardware, this M8 bolt, which can also handle a lot more current. And then finally, we remove the nuts by threading the bus bar here. So there's nothing to rot off and fall into the intake. We also have some insulated washers, a nylon bushing, a nylock nut to go on top of the um, cable for the grid heater, some specialty tools to aid in the disassembly and reassembly, and all gaskets required to do, complete this job. In order to complete the installation on 2007 through 2012 model year trucks, we will have to do a small modification to the intake plate. There's a bridge of aluminum that will need to be removed by cutting out carefully, as you can see here. 2013 through 2024 models will already have this area cleared out. As you can see, we've already removed the intake from the engine, so let's start with the disassembly of the bus bar. All the tools necessary to complete this job are listed in our installation manual. First, we're gonna take off this nut at where the lower and upper bus bar meet. We'll take our custom little wrench here and reach up underneath and try to secure it on this nut. And next, we'll use the little Torx bit that we supply to, to remove this nut. Now the lower bus bar can come off. There's an insulated washer we'll remove here. And oops, careful not to lose all your hardware. And we will need to save this little insulated bushing here. I got it here. And then there's an insulated washer on the opposite side here that goes against the heater element. We'll pull those out too. And lastly, we'll pop the insulated washer off here. And lastly, we'll put, pull out the upper bus bar by forcing it down here and then like so. Okay, we've removed all the components that we need to, but next, with this early model, we'll have to cut out this little aluminum bridge. We'll accomplish that by using a hacksaw. We'll want to cut right along the step line as closely as possible. And then again on this, following this edge of the other opposite side of the intake. Yeah. Should be through, yep, I think so. Yeah, there we go, we're through now. And then approximately right here, that'll be good. Nope. All right, now we'll pull that little piece out. We'll, yeah, we'll grab an air nozzle and we'll blow off the shavings.
Okay, we're all ready to start reassembling with our new components. We'll start off by taking this new nylon bushing and inserting it here through this through hole. Oop, that's not tight enough. There we go. Next, we will reuse this insulated insert and put it through the through hole right here by the intake heater element. Next, we're gonna take the newly supplied insulating washers and reuse the steel washer we took out from over here by the element. So first off, we'll take the steel washer and the insulated wash washer and get it in here. We can gain a little bit of clearance by using a screwdriver. There we go. Set that down. Should be pretty close. And then... Uh, next, we will take the other washer, place it on this side, and take the M6 bolt that we supply and work it through this stack to about there. Next, we'll take the new heavy duty bus bar, which again is very, very beefy compared to the original and our M4 socket here. And we are gonna start this by hand. And, and just hand tight for now is great. So we can line everything up. Next, we'll take the new upper bus bar, and it's got a little tab. We'll tuck it in like this. We'll take the new M8 bolt, and we will start it in here like this, into the lower bus bar. And I'm gonna remount that, because we're gonna wanna torque that. Take an M5. Allen socket. So we're gonna take our torque wrench and torque this M8 bolt to 15 foot-pounds. Cool. Okay, next we'll flip this back over and we'll need to torque the M6 which has thread locker applied to it already, to seven foot pounds. So this solves the problem by eliminating the nuts and the small hardware that can rot off and fall down into your intake. We've accomplished this by using an M8 bolt at the front of the bus bar into a thicker bus bar that can carry the high current load more efficiently. We've also connected directly to the grid heater elements instead of transferring all the load through the little M6 bolt. So all in all, the whole system is more efficient and this is a $200 solution to prevent a 10, 15, $20,000 engine job. You can now reinstall the intake assembly and sleep well knowing your engine will not inhale a grid heater nut. For more information on this and other great products, contact us at bddiesel.com.